Hey friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, I will teach you how to design this logo using PizLab application on your phone. So if you really want to learn how to design a logo, make sure you watch this video to the end. Alright, so let's get started. So once I open PizLab application, I'm going to first change the image size to YouTube thumbnail because I'm using the image for the YouTube thumbnail. Alright, so then I'm going to import a vector. Okay, I'm going to import this. You can go to the video description, there's a link to where you can download the materials I use for this logo design. Alright, so I'm just going to put it in the middle. Okay, I'll take it to the back. I click to back. Alright, this text here, I'm going to click on it. Double click and change it to B. I'll turn to capture this. Then I'm going to change the font. Remember, you can go to the video description. All the materials I use for this logo design, the link to download it is there. All right, then we change the color to black. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to join it together with the vector. Then we'll reduce it a little and put it here. Then we create a text. Bring it here. So, brand, brand name. That's whatever your brand name is, you just put it there. Then I'm going to give spacing and also change the font. Okay, then we change the color. Right, then after that, I'm going to create a copy of the text. Then I'll change it to tagline here. Yeah. I'll also change, change it to capital letters. I'll reduce this. Alright, then after that, I'm going to import another vector. Alright, then I put it here. Then we add texture to the logo. Okay, then we click OK. Then we also add 3D shape. We click enabled. We take the depth to 5. Dark and we take it to 75. Shadow, we click enabled. The blur radius, we take it to 5. And then 3, minus 3, and 1. The inbox we click enabled, bevel will take it to 100. The 
Ambient line will take it to 100. Intensity will take it to 67. Then speck loudness. I think that 30. Okay, then we just take this to 15. Alright, so once we've done that, then we'll just add the background. Alright, I'm going to use this one here. Okay, then I'll reduce this a little and put it in the middle. Alright, so we're done. I hope the video was helpful. So the next thing we're just going to do is just click on this save icon here. We click save as image and we turn it to ultra, then save to gallery. So yeah, we're done. I hope the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, please do it by leaving a like and sharing the video with someone you feel may find the video helpful. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe right now so you can see more videos like this all right thank you all so much and if you're interested in watching another logo design tutorial just look at any of the videos showing on the screen right now thank you i'll see you guys next time